Hey, what's up YouTube? This is a review for you and I'm going to try to make a very quick review of this CFL uh, video light bulbs uh, that I bought off uh, Amazon. Uh, they are sold by Emar. I'll provide a link in the description below. So here we go. So the spiral itself, it's about four inches and a quarter, which is about 11 centimeters I measured. So here I want to show you, they don't show any brand printed on them. The only thing it's printed, it's, it, sh it says 45 watts, 110 volts, and claim 5500 Kelvin color temperature. Um, I just yesterday I discovered that Adorama sells similar bulbs. They look exactly the same, like without any brand printed on them. Uh, pretty much pre uh, coming from the same factory, uh, same uh, facility. <clears throat> However, now it claims 5500 Kelvin color temperature. I'm as close as possible within the soft box right now and the app I'm using is an auto balance, uh, auto white balance and shows me 5400 Kelvin. I think it's pretty close. So what I want to show you in one take, hopefully it's gonna work without editing. So this is one bulb, goes there, there's the other light. Now this is just review of the bulbs. Uh, none of the stands or the softbox. So here we go. You can see they go into this little white splitter. They coming, coming, coming here. And what do we have here? A kilowatt meter. And it said watts. And as you can see, this one pulls only 26. 0.5 watts for clean 45 here 122 volts 0 0.2 0 0.39 40 amps and this is it so well here it's like hurts you can see so I don't know how it claims there's 45 uh, there's an another thing here I want to show you sorry for the shaky video uh, so you know that I'm not manipulating this results. I'm gonna turn the other one Okay, now both are on by the way. I just recently turned off this one. So let's go back and see all together the Two light bulbs how much they pull in Well It's barely 50 watts 51 it's kind of fluctuating so now in the same take let's do another i just want to show you something very fine so this time i'm turning off this bulb while i'm doing this i just want to show you that they're not even pulling exactly the same wattage probably it's okay they have a little difference Okay, this now pretty much shows the same. Earlier, I noticed like they've been working for a while all together and one of the bulbs, the one I'm looking right now, would show like two watts less than the other one. So I don't know really what's the reason for that. So let's continue with more tests. All right, now for the next test, luckily now it's dark outside, so I turn off the ceiling lights in my studio, so what I'm gonna be doing, I'm gonna use this light meter from Lumu with the app and see what results. So I'm measuring over here and we have 5280 Kelvin. If I put it really, really close to the light bulb, well, we got 5380, kind of close to 5400, not exactly 55 watt measures. So they're a little bit maybe on the warm side. That's okay. I mean, 
after all those balls are super cheap. Let's see what this one measures. First, let's try a little bit bigger distance. About 282 millimeters, and I'll tell you later on why I'm doing this. Okay, 5270, super close. 5340, another 5350. So you can see they even. Uh, so consistent between two bulbs there are not so much consistency so um, that's it now let's continue with the next test so now for the next test I'm gonna use again this Lumo light meter attachment actually I just updated the firmware on it uh, what is unique about it that actually you can constantly improve this device and uh, right now I'm using it on my old iPhone 6 also it works with my uh, newer iPhone as long as you can uh, you know even in this case works with the with the case now what I'm gonna do next I'm gonna use it to measure illuminance of these light bulbs and now smart enough <clears throat> the seller on Amazon didn't uh, provide any uh, data about the luminance, whatever in lumens or in lux. So um, I know in order to measure, you know, because this uh, measures in lux, in order to convert this to lumens, I have to because it's a square meter. So uh, and you have to imagine like a radius sphere like well you almost can't imagine I have this uh, umbrella softbox um, which each uh, uh, which radius is about 282 millimeters so this is what is equal of the square meter um, so this is what I'm gonna do right now okay so I'm gonna hold the ruler to make sure and this is on the side so here we go, this is the distance about 282 millimeters. Taking measure, another one. So it measured only 1875 lux. We, uh, according to those calculation, so a friend of mine helped me with this uh, calculations, this is supposed to be equal to lumens. So this means dear friends that these bulbs are actually not producing are not brighter than a conventional 100 watt um, bulb which is pretty much what is my impression and I'll show you uh, at the end uh, same test with the uh, uh, the fluorescent ceiling lights in my studio just to show you how much brighter they are than this and it's uh, reasonable because they have much more surface to radiate, radiate uh, light so um, I'm gonna do now another test with the other bulb uh, this one is placed in a rectangular softbox and just to show you so the 282 millimeters is pretty much the edge of the wall of the soft box so let me see I hope you see it right now so let's see what the app will tell us so this is a 80 75 flux from the from the other bulb now if we measure here from the very top Okay, this give us a little bit more. Well, 1890. So not much bigger difference, but the same thing. Now, if this was really 45 watt uh, CFL video studio bulb, supposed to produce at least at this distance, I think at least about 3,000 lumens or 3,000 lux. Um, now I, I want to do just another test I'm gonna back up a little bit the camera it's really not very, very unprepared video 
Now I'm gonna measure here about a one meter just to give you idea and again it's not super precise just to give you idea of the looks output at about one meter it's not super precise but already uh, those bulbs showing way lower results than what they're supposed to show okay well at one meter we measure about 300 lux so I'm not sure in lumens how much gonna be because the radius is not the same the distance is different so probably in lumens gonna be different numbers but this what shows in lux 309 uh, at this point I'm not gonna do more tests with those bulbs um, actually I want to do one more because those soft boxes pretty much concentrate the light so next I'm gonna take off one of the soft boxes and see what we measure without soft box all right now here we go you can see right now oh, even give me some weird reflections we can adjust so this bulb is still on it's the only source of light coming in I think I can ignore the light coming off the street because it's really not so significant uh, let's measure again a radius to 82 all right so 282 millimeters is right right here well it's even worse guys so well so I'm measuring between let me see if you can see it it's such a bright source measuring between 16 and 1400 lux at 282 so this is exactly equal of 100 watt bulb so they claim that the the conventional uh, light bulb output is equal to 225 so you 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 notice in the first test it already is not pulling 45 watts of power it's pulling only 25 26 so ideally the, those bulbs and they're pretty small they pretty much look as the one you would use in your household although for a few years i'm using all the led lights led bulbs so pretty disappointing the only the only thing right now that the response on the numbers on the specs they provide and Amazon is the color temperature that's the only thing that comes really close after this nothing is even close uh, neither the the, uh, the power draw neither the luminance uh, well they didn't provide specific uh, specifications for uh, illuminance but I, I uh, show uh, I check your charts and I'm gonna place them now in the video where you can see the 100 watt of conventional light bulb which is equal about 20 watts of CFL uh, outputs around 1600 lumens so that's the test now just before I finish with this test here one more just to give you an idea Okay, 70, 90. Ah, wow, one meter is a lot. So this probably is going to be out of frame. So just trust me, guys. I'm not about to budge this. I really was hoping to get some good deal on these bulbs, but whatever. Now let's see at one meter. We're getting without soft box to concentrate the light. 
only 191 lux so again this not gonna be the same number for lumens as the formula is not gonna work there anymore but that's it now let's do the final test where I'm just gonna pretty much measure the luminance of the fluorescent ceiling lights in my studio all right so here we go again now the bolts are off this one's still in the softbox so I'm gonna pick on this one ceiling fluorescent light and see what measures we get there just for comparison all right then one of the final tests so this is where is one meter somewhere over here wow well I know it's much bigger surface and probably it you know takes in account uh, the light coming from the other uh, fluorescent lights in the ceiling measures 859 so let's say it's even 600 but still your fluorescent light is much more powerful so actually if you think of those panels in the fluorescent panels in the ceiling will make really nice soft boxes now the very final test okay Ooh, that's pretty high 282 millimeters from okay let me get rid of that Okay, so this is what I measured 2774 lux, which we can assume is the same at 282 millimeters from the light source, is the same as lumens. So, all lumens, uh, please excuse my accent if I'm pronouncing it incorrectly. If you enjoyed this video, uh, I would say hopefully you actually find something helpful for you so um, it's not so much choice there when you're looking for you know budget not to say cheap but budget solution for something like um, your vlog studio or you know even live stream which is very popular right now with this situation uh, around this health crisis so to be honest they pretty useful if you have them very close about one meter uh, which is about three feet to your face um, but honestly you know for this price you can use uh, any household you know even LED light for that um, just uh, you know a much cheaper because those are actually bought for $12 each, uh, the pack of two so it's about six dollars each uh, including the shipping while well, the shipping was with Prime but um, as I mentioned in the beginning of the video Adorama uh, sells very similar looking like pretty much identically looking like bulbs as size and non any branding just those uh, you know uh, power numbers 45 watts 110 volts and uh, 5500 uh, uh, Kelvin color temperature and they look very identical uh, on the Dorama they sold for $3.99 so if you buy two this is uh, about $8 and then they charge you shipping because you know unless you have some kind of 360 membership with the Dorama uh, and pretty much come the same price about $12 I would say um, now right now I noticed the other day uh, actually when I was considering to return those light bulbs on Amazon now they even $18 uh, it's really hard to find budget good CFL bulbs for your video studio um, because most of them if you read the reviews uh, people actually using kilowatt which I'm gonna provide in the description a link if you want to buy this little device uh, people have the same issues like 45 watt bulb actually pulling only 20 25 watts or like something like uh, 80 watt you know rated pulling 60 or 105 rated is pulling somewhere around 70 80 which is quite not the same 
and the first thing I noticed with those light bulbs there surprisingly small so from there I already kind had some kind of negative expectations and um, that's it pretty much so uh, thank you for watching this video again hope you find it useful and helpful for yourself please support my channel by subscribing I'm trying also to get on YouTube uh, if you find the video helpful give me thumb up and that's it see you soon stay safe thank you